Happy Thursday, Facebook friends. Welcome back to Facebook. I'm Angie Garza, Director of Professional Learning and Educational Services for ROE 47, serving Lee, Oval, and Whiteside counties. And if you're joining us back here this fine Thursday on Facebook, you'll know that it's time for another edition of Teacher Talk. And as we move now through our month of October, our school year is well underway. We are welcoming all the fall colors um, and settling into a groove. Um, but we are not yet done with celebrating and introducing and sharing the great work that is happening at our own RE47 office. So uh, that kind of sets the stage for our teacher talk here this morning. And as we kick that off, as always, I am so pleased and proud to introduce my friend, colleague, and co host, digital teaching and learning specialist, Ms. Stacy Dingus. Stacy, today we are going to be talking about um, some different programs and services that we have available through our office. And so, um, you know, that it, I never get tired of, uh, of sharing the great news that is ROE 47. Good morning, Angie. Happy to be here again. And I have to agree, you know, we we do a lot in that uh, behind the doors of the Regional Office of Education. Um, and th this is one of those things that I think that normally we think of what a traditional student is. And I'm proud and happy to say that we really in our office um, have programs and services to all types of students. So excited today to share a special program, um, introduce a, um, a different face um, here on our teacher talks. Let's get started. You mentioned kind of introducing a, a program that we've had here for a while at the office, but a new face. Um, she's actually not so new. Uh, we are pleased to welcome to Teacher Talk this morning, Rhiannon Seibel. And Rhiannon actually uh, was involved with student attendance prior to moving over here to our education outreach program, which is what we're going to be talking about this morning. And Stacy, you alluded to the fact that we serve many different uh types of students. And so this is a, a great program for a variety of different learners who are seeking to um, to better themselves and their educational opportunities. So as we kick off Teacher Talk here this morning, we are so happy to welcome Rhiannon to our Teacher Talk platform here this morning. Rhiannon, good morning. I was wondering if you might kick us off and tell us a little bit more about yourself and maybe how you came to the Education Outreach Program here at our office. Hi, yes, I'm Rhiannon Seibel, and I came to us from the um, attendance department. I was six years with the truancy caseworker, and then um, I am new to the Education Outreach Program. I'm really excited for this opportunity. I've been learning a lot. Um, prior to my six years with truancy, I did spend nine years as a substitute teacher, so I have a little bit of background with that. Um, I've been lucky enough to work with some students and show them my skills and help improve theirs. So it's been really fun to relearn math, um, to work with all sorts of students, as you guys said, and to jump right into this program. Those of us that live in the world of education know that we are famous for our acronyms. Um, we have we have acronyms for everything, right? So tell us exactly um, what is EOP and who exactly does it serve? EOP is the Education Outreach Program, and it provides young adults with the opportunity to finish their education through the GED testing. Um, we are lucky enough to now offer their Illinois High School Diploma rather than just a certification program. So we offer free GED classes and free GED testing. We also offer career readiness training, paid work experience, um, job shadowing, and then we work with Best Incorporated to provide the skills training to get them to that next step as well. So not only are we offering an educational program, but also skills to help prepare them for the workforce. Um, you work with many different types and ages of students. I, I think you um, mentioned that now after successfully completing this program, students are eligible for a high school diploma as opposed to a GED certificate. There's been lots of changes um, that have that have happened over the last several years. But the one thing that doesn't change is the importance of this program to our communities. Um, and so wondering if you could share with us from your perspective and kind of coming in um, fresh as of July 1, 
why do you feel that this program is important to our our citizens in Lee Ogle and Whiteside counties? The assistance the program is able to provide these students is is helping to prepare them, support themselves in our community. Um, they're better equipped to be successful in the workforce or post secondary education. Um, a lot of our students participate in certification programs such as welding and CNA programs as well. Um, so they're really able to participate in our local economic growth as well as complete their education, however long that may be. Some of the benefits that our programs offer are transportation assistance, career readiness instruction. Um, we help prepare them for post-secondary by filling out forms and teaching them what kind of grants they're available out there. And then also just financial literacy and paid work experience, stuff that they can jump into the community and do themselves. I often talk on these teacher these teacher talk sessions about um, the changing world of education and the world that we live in, how it's always changing. As um, Has your program, has the EOP program made some changes recently, um, maybe to adjust to um, the world that our students and families are living in? Um, and can you tell us about those changes? Well, our location has moved, and I know that's a big change for the program overall. Um, being kind of the hub of, of Sterling right in the middle of town has helped us immensely. It's helping us reach more of our Lee County students as well. Um, we work with SOC to let the students see where they can attend, but it is opening it up a little bit more to our Lee and Ogle County students as well, um, being more available at this location. Um, also the big change of the certification changing over to an Illinois high school diploma is huge. Um, I think that not only are we seeing our students see the effects of that, but also their parents and offering a graduation ceremony to these students while showing them that they can earn their diploma is, is something that they can really be proud of. Not that they couldn't before, but now it's, it's really ringing at home. So they're really happy about that for our program. This is a huge lift. You cannot possibly do this all by yourself. So tell us, um, tell us a little bit about your team and who you have on board to help support you with these efforts. Um, Sauk Valley Community College does offer um, some of our students their class time as well, which is really nice. They can have a structured classroom. On top of that, I am not only the new um, person to this program, I'm lucky enough to bring in our new Whiteside County GED instructor, Jill Marciniak, who comes to us with over 15 years of special ed experience. And she is going to be teaching our GED classes. We have lots of materials that she's been sitting down and working with the students with. Um, and then also Best Incorporated is who we go to for our job shadowing experience, our work experience, um, and building our resumes. Those those are our great um, actual extras that we have that BEST is able to help us with. Um, and together we make this program really work and we help our students thrive. So if I'm sitting here and I'm I'm a parent of a, of a young person who perhaps uh, did not complete um, their, their high school education experience and they're, they're looking to, to do that. Or if I am a student out there and I'm, I'm interested in, you know, getting my high school diploma and getting some assistance with that resume building, as you mentioned, and that job shadowing. Who do I contact? How do I find out more? Tell us all the things. I would be one of the biggest contacts you have. Uh, you can see me out there working with our students in all three counties, Lee Ogle and Whiteside, um, Rhiannon and Seibel and our Phone number for our Whiteside office is 815-625-1495. Um, also by email, our cyble at roe47.org. Um, we do have a lot of flyers floating around out there with contact forms. Please try and reach out to us or BEST or SOC or any community members um, to see what those flyers are all about. Um, you're always welcome to stop in and see us at our new location, 2214 East 4th Street, Suite C in Sterling. And then we also have our Facebook account, GED-Education Outreach Program. And that's a lot of ways to connect, and we certainly appreciate that. Um, we will make sure that we put all of that contact information within the context of the post. So Facebook viewers, uh, please make sure that you are 
are looking at the narrative that goes along with our teacher talk for this morning. I am just always, as I said, as we kicked off this teacher talk for this morning, so proud of all of the diverse services that we offer at ROE 47, ranging from birth all the way through uh, post-secondary or even for some of those non-traditional students who are coming back to to engage in programs like our education outreach program to achieve their high school diploma. Um, all great things that are contributing to the health and vitality of our communities. Rhiannon, thank you so much. I know that this is always a busy time. There's a, never a time when, when we aren't busy at ROE 47. So thank you so much for taking the time out this morning to chat with us here on Teacher Talk. Uh, Facebook friends, just a reminder, this is uh, the Education Outreach Program at ROE 47, serving Lee Ogle and Whiteside counties. If you would like more information about this program, please visit our website at www.roe47.org or connect with any of those contact methods that Rhiannon shared um, that will be in the context of the post. On behalf of my friend, colleague, and co-host, Ms. Stacey Dingus, and our special guest this morning from our Education Outreach Program, Rhiannon Seibel, thank you so much for tuning in this Thursday for our fourth season uh, of Teacher Talk. And as we wrap up today, we want to not only thank you for tuning in, but we hope sincerely that you enjoy the rest of your Thursday, that you have a wonderful end of the week on Friday, a restful and relaxing fall weekend, and we will see you right back here next Thursday for another edition of Teacher Talk.